Roop Unleashed has just been updated to version 4.1.1. If you already installed it previously, you can update it by going to the Roop Unleashed folder, typing CMD in the address bar, and pressing Enter. From there, type Git Pull, press Enter again, and you are good to go. To run Roop Unleashed, double-click on the run.bat file. However, if you haven't installed it, you can watch this video on how to install it. The link will be at the top right of the video or in the description and comments below. Please note that this tutorial is specifically made for AMD GPUs only. Other GPUs like NVIDIA will not work. Right now, I'm going to show you how to train a face set for future use in Roop Unleashed. Before we begin, go to the settings, scroll down to Provider, and choose DML from the drop down list. Click Apply Settings and restart server. This ensures that it will use DirectML throughout the operation. For this tutorial, I will be using Bruce Lee's face as a demo. This is strictly for educational purposes and should not be used for any illegal operations. As you can see, I have prepared 21 photos of Bruce Lee to train his face set. There is no rule on how many faces are needed, but I personally suggest that you prepare at least 10 photos. Make sure there are no other foreign faces in the photos, as this will affect the final outcome. In this photo, you can see two blurred faces in the background. While these won't be detected, it is still advisable to crop the photo just to be safe. Go to the face management at the top of the web UI. Scroll down until you see input files. Select all the photos prepared earlier and drag them into it. After a while, all the faces that have been detected will be shown as thumbnails at the bottom. Go through each face and make sure there are no foreign faces mixed in. You can always select the photo and click Remove Selected to remove the unwanted face. Once you are satisfied, you can click Create Slash Update Face Set File. A face set file will be created on the left side of the screen. You can download the file and rename it to something easy to remember. I save mine as Bruce Lee. Drag the Bruce Lee face set to the source files and the video you want to face swap to the target files. I chose Codeformer from the drop down list in Select Post Processing. You may choose anything you prefer. The newest version has a new option called Subsample Upscale 2. Higher numbers will give a clearer face. I chose 256 pixels for this tutorial. Finally, scroll all the way down and click Start to begin. As you can see, the conversion utilizes around 20% of CPU, 10 gigabytes of RAM, and 60% of GPU. I'm showing this only for your reference as I have a few viewers spreading hate and scolding me because they claimed that it fully utilizes their CPU. Just saying, cursing me won't help with anything. Everyone has different PC specs, and all of them work differently. It took me around 7 minutes and 50 seconds to convert a 21-second video. The original video size is 14.2 megabytes, and after the conversion, the file size has become 36.7 megabytes. You can always find your converted file in the Roop Unleashed output folder. Please note that if your video has a lot of weird angles, the face-swapped result may not be perfect. I hope you enjoy the video and please consider donating to me so I can make more useful videos for you in the future.